Hello everyone, this is Catherine. Welcome back. I am sharing a project that I did using some AliExpress dies and this was for someone's birthday. And I wanted to show you this because you can do uh, projects with school pictures and I will be having some more projects um, for gifts that you can give out using school pictures rather than just giving out the school picture. Um, I have the picture covered up though because it is of my daughter and I have not decided that I want to show my kids on the internet yet. But this is um, just a project example so you guys can get the idea of it. So I will show you the project and then I will show you the dies and I will link what I can down below. So I just have a um, Velcro crozier right here that I got off of AliExpress um, and I will link those down below if I can find them again. So it looks like this but then it opens up this way if that makes sense. So then it says love you right here in a little pocket that I made out of vellum. And then this is the sentiment. Well, this is the like the little note that I just folded in half. I thought the heart was really cute and then wrote on the back of this right here. And stick that in there. And then I have not, these are little pictures right back here that I printed out on my, um, my little zip printer. Um, I'm not gonna show it because it is of my kids, but I will put them on this tag. I haven't done that because I didn't want to show them for this video. So then you flip it over and this is where I put my daughter's picture. Um, I haven't gotten my other two daughters pictures back yet from their schools. Um, but so this is where you put map the school picture and then this is where you can either print out on your own printers. I made the pockets right here and then the tag that I got off of AliExpress and then I was just going to, um, you can either print out or, you know, more school pictures, whatever you want to do. You don't have to use the tags. Um, I just thought that would be a little fun, different element rather than, you know, having, having a pocket and then having a photo matted on the other side. I thought it would be cool to have different rather than everything be the same. So there's the one picture and then here's another tag with another picture behind it just made differently and then right here I um I used a border punch or I'm sorry not a punch I used this die um right here that I got in this pack from AliExpress or maybe I got it off of Wish I'll link it down below either way I used this one and it came in a pack like this and they are not long at all you can see um let me see if I can grab my ruler real quick. It cut fine, but they're not long. So you would just have to, if you wanted something longer than that, it's like four and a half inches is all the longer that it is. So you would just have to cut it out again. Like if you wanted it to be six inches or whatever, you would just have to keep using it until you got it as long as you wanted. So there's that, and I'm sorry. The pocket is, um, sorry about that. The pocket is from the Wish app. I know that one. And I will link that. And it was like a pocket full of sunshine. I know that Elena Craft just came out with a pocket, but this one is way smaller. This one is, I like this one. It's teeny. It's like not even two and a quarter. It's so cute. And it comes with, um, little sunshine rays and like money and stuff and you'll see when I link it down below hopefully it's still available and then this tag came from a set that I bought off of AliExpress and um it gives you the option to punch the holes in there or not and they have the hole punchers down here and you can pick your size that you want it comes with four different sizes there's one right here there's one there there's one there and there so you can do hole reinforcers, I guess, if you wanted to, or you could use your own punch if you wanted to wait until you were all done rather than cutting this out. And then if you wanted to back this with chipboard and make this a little more heavier weight, then you could use a hole punch at the end and do it all together. 
um, whatever you wanted to do. And then for this love you, I use this punch, or this, I keep calling them punches, I'm sorry, this love you die from Tuesday morning. See the numbers, 197203. I got it over the summer though, so um, come with a couple of them. Love you, happy, and I think it says forever underneath of here. Um, I've only used the love you though. And then for the matting that I did around the pictures, I used the biggest, no, maybe it's not the biggest. This is one of these um, wavy like rectangles with, and it's stitched around the edge. I thought it just looked kind of plain, so I used the smallest little rectangle right here. You see that one? And I cut it out twice because it wouldn't fit all the way across. And I just cut it down to make a little bit more detail going across there. That's what I did with that. And as you can see, this is what it looked like before you put the picture on there. You can do whatever size. You make it custom to however you want this. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on how I made this book, just let me know. Leave a comment and I will do one. Just want to have enough interest in it um, to do one. If more than one person wants me to do one, then I'll do it. So then I did that here, as you can see. I did a side pocket on this one. I thought that was kind of cool. And again with a tag. And I just can't wait to get their pictures back. It just seems like it's taking so long. Um, just so, I mean, it was simple enough, but it still took a few hours. Lots of love went into this. I thought it was a very cute design. And then you just close up the book. It's very sturdy. I used a um, 110 pound cardstock base and then used um, a paper pad that I got on a hot buy from Michaels. Um, I think it was called the Mariska paper pad. I'm sorry, I don't know. And then for the bow on the top, I used this bow die. And then just put a bow, or I'm sorry, a pearl, flat back pearl in the center of it. Right there. And um, I pretty much just cut the paper so that it would just continue on with the pattern. I just, I knew how, long, how wide I wanted it to be. And I just continued on with the whole pattern. So it just, it really doesn't end with this one. I thought that I did a really good job matching up everything as you can see right there. I think it turned out really great. It's really cute um, little flip book right there. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you liked it or not and leave me a comment. I'll see you guys in my next video.